if you're driving a Peterbilt or Kenworth truck and you're stuck currently in a five mile an hour D rate, I'm gonna go over four different things that you could do today to really help you understand what's going on with your truck and understand the system a little bit more. So let's get started. If you're currently stuck in D rate, you probably have this fault code coming up on your issue, your, your truck dash right now. So the first thing we're gonna underdo is we wanna understand what's going on with our truck. We're gonna understand our after treatment system. It consists of many different components. You have a DEF fluid, which is the fluid that you need to power your after treatment system. You have your knock sensors. You have an after treatment control module, which is called an ACM. You have what's called an EGR, that regulates the exhaust gases back inside your engine. So, and you also have different components that are in each one depending on your truck. So what you wanna understand here is that your truck right now is in a D rate because of an after treatment issue. So you wanna really understand that you have an after treatment problem right now and it's probably related to your DEF system. And it's very important for you to know because your DEF system com consists of many components. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna understand the fall codes. This is where the big F word comes in, is the fall codes are really gonna be the big thing that we're gonna highlight here because this, if you understand your fault codes, you're gonna understand what you need to fix in order for you to reset and clear that D rate. And so if you have this specific fault code, um, it's SPN 5246 with FMI zero, this fault code is usually triggered when there's another associated fault code along with it. So if you know that associated fault code, you can go ahead and address it and fix it, and then you can continue on with whatever procedure that we're gonna tell you about next. The the third thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna understand what diagnostic tools that you need to have in order for you to do the proper diagnosis. You can't just buy any other, any typical diagnostic tool in order for you to connect to your Packard MX engine. You need to have the proper diagnostic tool to really do any type of function, especially when it comes to certain trucks. And if you're driving a 2000, 11 in your, because this is gonna be when Packard MX engines were out. So if you're driving anything that the Packard MX related engine, it is 2011 in your, and with those type of years, you're gonna have an after treatment system. So this is why it's very important for you to know because it's gonna save you a lot of money. That if you have the proper diagnostic tool, you're gonna be able to help get you out of this situation that you're in currently. So if you're currently stuck at five miles an hour, you need the right diagnostic tool to help you get out of this situation. And the fourth thing I'm gonna educate you on is actually what do you need to do? Let's say you do have the proper diagnostic tool. What do you need to do? So if you have the proper diagnostic tool, here's some tools that I recommend. One of them is called OTR Diagnostics and the other one is called Davy 4. If you're a fleet and you have a lot of trucks, you might wanna look into Davy 4 software or if you're an owner operator and have a smaller fleet, you wanna probably look into a diagnostic tool called OTR Diagnostics that could really help you right now. So if you had the proper diagnostics tool, the fourth thing you're gonna to wanna to do is when you have the situation on your truck and let's say you did address your fault codes with the components that did fail, you wanna do what's called the DEF D-rate reset procedure and this DFD rate reset procedure is a bi-directional command. That means that we're talking back and forth with the ECM to confirm that everything is sending. So the diagnostic tool is gonna to be sending that command. And this, once you send this specific command, it's gonna put the truck out of D-Ray. So immediately, you'll be able to see that that truck is coming out of the five mile an hour D-Ray. And what I recommend doing and what the procedure is for this specific issue that you're dealing with is to drive the truck for at least 50 miles under heavy load. So if you're not, you just, sometimes you have to hook up to a trailer or you have to put the, the truck under heavy load in order for it to go through the validation to make sure that the entire system is confirmed and working properly. So there's a lot of things that you're that you could put you in this D-rate. You got knock sensors that fails. You have your DEF quality. So let's say you pump um, you DEF fluid at a, at a gas station, at a truck stop that is, is, has bad DEF fluid, this could really trigger this. So there's a lot of different ways that could trigger this issue that could 
result to you having to perform all these different, you know, this specific function. So that's why we went through the four different things that you need to know to really understand what this is. We understood that you have an after treatment system. And if you're driving a Packard IMAX engine, you have to understand what fault codes potentially can put you in D-rate. You understand that you need a specific diagnostic tool to be able to get connected. So you're able to perform the specific function to really help you get out of that situation. So if you'd like to learn more about more pack our MX content, you can watch the next video and we'll be going over the most common things to look for in a pack our MX regen. So if you're interested, check that video out. If you have any questions, just drop us a comment below and we'll definitely check it out. Thanks for watching.